customer. What are we doing? Protecting our piece? Yeah. What do we do to get up here? Run about 1.5 miles. How you feel? Tired. That's and good. Feel appreciation now? Yeah. All right. The sunset's beautiful. It is. You got it. The sunset lets you know that you're alive. All right, you made it through another day. That's what that means. Hey guys, I just wanted to bring this into you real quick. Uh, me and Tris, we out here just protecting our peace. Little Sunday Sunday evening run, uh, watching the sunset. And, um, Your phone about to die. Yeah, my phone's about to die, but it's okay. Go stand over there, Tris, so they can kind of get a view. What you got? There you go. So guys, I titled this the key to life. My phone's probably gonna die here. Um, I barely have any battery. But I wanted to share this message um, as I'm just protecting my peace with my son and just full of gratitude. You know, this week is a new week coming up. Uh, and so it's a new opportunity, it's a new beginning. Every sunset reminds you that you made it through the day. Every sunrise reminds you that you are alive to see another day. So don't take those beautiful things for granted. And the reason I titled this the key to life, I'm gonna be very quick. Is because appreciation is everything. When you learn to appreciate your life, when you learn to appreciate what you have in your life, you realize that you have everything that you need. And I know so many times we're so great at focusing on what we don't have. We're so great at focusing on the hard times. We're so great at focusing on our pain. We're so great at focusing on our struggle because we're human beings. We're always trying to protect ourselves. But I've learned this. When you learn to train yourself to focus your focus on the things that matter. You know, I can find a million things in my life right now that are going wrong, but I decided to find the things that are going right in my life. And I want you to live this week in appreciation. I want you to attack this week in appreciation. Even if you have little, right? You might say, Trent, I don't have a home, but at least you have life. There's always something that you can find gratefulness for because there's something in your life that you don't have. And so, I mean, there's something in your life that somebody else doesn't have that you do have. So this week, just focus on appreciation and gratitude as I take in the sunset again. And just remember this truth. Um, the first step to elevation is appreciation, guys. And I want you to train yourself when you are looking for things that are going wrong, immediately train yourself to find something that's right. When you want to complain, and complain is, is life, I get it. But when you want to complain, immediately train yourself to find something in appreciation because complaining and worrying does nothing for our life, right? It does nothing. It just feeds our ego. It feeds our excuses. It makes us feel good about where we're at. You know, it gives us kind of an excuse and a reason. But when you find appreciation, appreciation unlocks a certain power that nothing in this world has the power to do. And I think it's your way of saying, God, thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for, you know, giving me the things that I don't deserve. Um, thank you for giving me your grace. And so I want you guys to really focus on that this weekend. My message was short. I, I don't usually go live at night no more, but I want to show you guys a, a sunset and why I'm so obsessed with them and sunrises and everything, because it's a new beginning. So attack this week as such, uh, text me below, right? I'm going to do a free call with somebody. So make sure you're part of my text message community. Why, the reason I promote that so hard is because it's me getting direct access to you, right? You can direct access to me, even though I can't respond to everybody, but I'm able to communicate with you directly where on social media, you know, they limit my post the algorithm, et cetera. So if you want to connect with me on a deeper level, uh, make sure you join my text message community. I'll probably be doing a inspiration in the wild. I got to find a way to do it through COVID. We'll do it safe and I'm going to do it in Fort Worth. And if you're part of my text message community, you're going to get a text message about that. So and, and, that's, and that's true when I come to other cities. So make sure you're part of that community. It's free. Uh, just whatever you pay for your, your phone service. But enough of that. Uh, the sun is set. And this is a new week. And so what you do with this week is totally up to you. 
there will be challenges, there will be curveballs, there will be obstacles, but you're always in control of how you respond, right? We might not be in control of what life tries to give us or what life gives us, but we are in control of how we respond. Life gives you lemon, make lemonades, baby. Let's get it. Love you guys, man. Appreciation. Tristan, got anything to say? Bye. <laughs> Bye. We focused on being a rare breed. All right, that's something I'll talk about at a different time, right? All right, y'all. Love y'all. Let's get it.